Norton versus Total AV. Oh, two solid antivirus options that, <laughs> yeah, I've compared before, but there's been some changes and some improvements. So which one is better for you right now? Hey there, I'm Mike from Cyber News, here for an unbiased look at all things cybersecurity related. So as we compare these two, let's start with one of the most exciting and important areas, the scanning options and those detection rates. See, you want an antivirus with consistent results, right? Well, you also want it to handle everything seamlessly. So to test out each provider, I planted 10 malicious files onto my device and then ran a scan with each provider. And the results? Well, Norton took around 10 minutes to scan the whole device, but only detected eight of the 10 malicious files. Total AV took around 16 minutes to scan, but ended up finding all 10. While these tests aren't as thorough as, let's say, independent tests, they are a great way for us to get a little perspective. However, we cannot leave out those independent testing scores, which also give us an idea about a company's reputation that they've earned over the years. So yeah, when looking a little deeper, their ratings, well, basically tie. But the Norton Review was rated just a smidge better by independent testing institutes. See, Norton was given a six out of six points when it came to testing areas like protection, performance, and usability, while the Total AV Review scored slightly less with five out of six points in protection, but a six out of six in performance and usability. So ultimately, this earned Norton the top product badge, while Total AV earned a certified badge. Okay, now if you look back over the history of these results, Norton is really consistent in its testing. The last time they got just about all top marks was around in April 2020, proving that they've always been a pretty reliable option. Oh, quick side note though, if you're looking for a discount on your next antivirus, then you're gonna wanna be sure to grab one of those exclusive deals that we've left in the description just for you. Now, testing aside, which one offers us more to more on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, this is actually where we can start to see who has the better value and where the best antivirus providers really start to shine. Both Norton and Total AV offer amazing real-time protection. Norton uses artificial intelligence to monitor and protect your device. Plus, they'll even warn you before you click on malicious links and get scammed. Uh -uh. Total AV, on the other hand, also offers excellent real-time protection by using advanced cloud scanning services to monitor any suspicious programs or activity. If there's any threat detected, they'll even send you a warning to tell you which action you can take next. Norton and Total AV both include a VPN with their package, which is basically a great way to add an extra layer of security to your browsing experience. Norton's VPN has some impressive features, like an ad blocker, auto connect, and split tunneling. It automatically connects to the fastest server outside of your country, and thanks to its kill switch, you can truly safeguard your IP you know, in case your connection happens to drop. Love those kill switches. Now, in my testing, Total AV's VPN showed some great speeds that even competed against some of the fastest providers like NordVPN and Surfshark. And they also have over 70 servers to choose from in over 30 countries. Ooh, very generous for such an add-on tool. Mm. Now, you might already know dark web monitoring is a must-have, in my opinion. It checks for data leaks on the dark web and lets you know of any personal information that might have been found. While both Norton and Total AV do offer this in their package, I gotta say that I was a little disappointed that Norton's didn't pick up on a handful of breached emails that I had during my testing. So I wouldn't actually recommend this tool solely based on this feature. That being said, I was quite impressed with both providers' system optimization features. Norton's was perfect for daily use and basically just removed all the junk and duplicate files that were taking up space on my device, which <laughs> was a lot. There's also a way to declutter unused apps too, making it possibly one of the best antivirus for Windows 10 options, especially if you're like me and you don't uh, manually clean your device every year or <laughs> if much at all, sorry. Okay, now Norton does pack some exclusive features that make them stand out. Unlike Total AV, which has no firewall option, they include one in all tiers. And I always strongly recommend using a firewall, so there you go. Plus, each package includes more and more features like PC cloud backup, parental control, a password manager, and safe cam. Okay, well, the next question in our Norton versus Total AV review is, how easy are these apps to use? Well, I've been testing them for quite a while and I found that both Norton and Total AV actually have very similar desktop layouts, as you can see on my screen. 
Norton, for example, is definitely easy to install, and after logging in, they even offered me a guided tour of the whole layout. Woohoo! Not sure I really needed this step since it's already pretty straightforward enough, and navigation has no issues. So yeah, it's handy even for beginners. My only critique of Norton's desktop app is that I wish it didn't open to a new tab to activate each little feature, you know? For example, when I open the dark web monitoring or parental control, each of them apparently needs a separate tab to be enabled. Okay, it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things, but it does make the dashboard feel a little cluttered since it takes up all that wonderful leftover space that I had. Hmm. On the other side, the Total AV antivirus layout also has a clean, simple interface that's organized into four categories. I like that the app lets me quickly run a scan whenever I want, plus they've utilized the dashboard a little more effectively and without so many navigation quirks. It seems like a true contender for the best antivirus for Windows 11 spot. As for the Total AV versus Norton mobile apps go, well, they were pretty similar to the PC versions. Even the installation and dashboards were both streamlined. But keep in mind, with Norton, you do need to download separate apps for each extra feature like the VPN, parental control, and password manager. So that can get a little tedious. Aside from having a few extra downloads on my phone, I did actually like that as soon as I opened up the antivirus app, it immediately started scanning my device. As you can see with Total AV's mobile app, everything is located right on the home page. I could easily switch my VPN server or do a security scan right from the same place. Love it. Okay, so to sum all this up, I found Norton to be high quality and versatile, but I wouldn't say their design choice is my favorite. However, if you're looking for an app that has everything accessible in one place, well, then Total AV may be a more suitable choice for you. Okay, now, Norton versus Total AV 2023 in terms of value and pricing? Yeah, how much are all these extra features gonna cost us? Well, both providers actually have very similar prices on all three of their package tiers. Norton's entry-level plan currently comes in at around 20 bucks per year, but only offers coverage on one device. Total AV's plan is a bit more generous, covering three devices, but coming in at around $30 per year. Now what's surprising here is that Norton's entry level plan has a password manager and even the next level plan has a VPN and dark web monitoring. To get those three functionalities, well, you'd have to opt for Total AV's most expensive plan. So yeah, Norton is a winner in this regard. So despite neither of these guys being very expensive, it's really gonna depend on what you need specifically feature-wise. As for any free trials go, well, Total AV has actually one of the best free antivirus plans available. But keep in mind, it only covers the basics. We're talking standard scans and malware and phishing protection. So if you've been trying to find a free antivirus for PC, well, then this is a great short-term option. And I say short-term because you're gonna very likely find those limitations super tiresome after about a, I don't know, a week. Okay, real quick, hold up. Before we continue, if this antivirus comparison was helpful for you in any way at all, be sure to help us out and hit that like and subscribe button. Honestly, it really does make a difference to our channel and our ability to continue to provide helpful, unbiased content for you. All right, so just remember, finding the best antivirus 2023 has to offer is an essential step in protecting your devices and your personal information. However, all of this depends on what type of user you really are. I think novice or beginners are gonna better appreciate Total AV. It provides more for all your daily use activities and has a cleaner UI, you know, user interface. Plus they got all those top testing scores, so yeah. Total AV would be my top recommendation right now. Now, of course, Norton is a great choice if you're looking for a reliable company with a great reputation, plus lots of those great extra features. So just make sure you grab those antivirus deals that you see on the screen here now to save the most no matter which way you end up going. All right, that's all I got. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.